So we've got this 2012 Ford Ranger in. It's got an instrument cluster issue that we're going to get solved for the customer. It's a 3.2 engine size TDCI, but this would work on the 2.2 also. So the problem is, as you can see here with the ignition off, we've got the engine management light illuminated, oil light illuminated, um, and then when we switch the ignition on, um, we're getting the other lights come up here. Let's start the car up. So the oil, the oil light's staying illuminated and flickering. Engine management light's on, but there's no actual engine management fault codes. It's just an internal fault on the actual dashboard itself. So uh, this is a bit of an issue because you would believe you've got an engine management light fault, uh, but it's just an actual instrument cluster fault illuminating that light. Um, this light's also illuminated. You can't see it too well on the camera. Uh, the oil lights flickering uh, its intensity um, and the wash wiper. Periodically these other lights here flash as well um, and the, the, the unit itself uh, was diagnosed previously to be an issue. So we've already diagnosed that as an issue, um, not that the uh, wiring's bad on the vehicle, that's all been checked. Uh, we've diagnosed the actual cluster on the bench off the vehicle to be the, the actual issue. So, current mileage 88,863. Um, so, what we've done is uh, we've got the customer to get a replacement unit, which is this one. Um, with this, it will st um, with this uh, unit fitted, it will start. We've already had this on uh, just to double check everything. Uh, but we're not programmed it yet, the mileage isn't corrected, so that's what we're going to get done on this job. So um, I just thought I'd switch it back to the old unit so you can see what the actual issue we have. So what I'm going to do now is swap these two units over and continue the video. So as you can see on these, it's just one single plug on the back to undo to uh, remove it. So we took the old unit out, popped it down here. Uh, fitted the new unit and as you can see we haven't got the engine management light, the oil light and the water light but now when we switch the ignition on we've got no mileage here mileage should just below, be below the trip computer as you can see we can try and start the vehicle and it'll start so the vehicle starts and runs um, but we've got no mileage here it's not programmed in, uh, the cluster isn't programmed to the vehicle and the mileage is, uh, well, once it's programmed we'll need correcting as well. So we're going to switch the ignition off. Just show you the ignition on, the, the engine management light does work. It's just um, when you start it, it goes out like it should do. So there's clearly no faults and that was the issue with this old unit. So what we're going to do now is get the programming equipment out um, and program this to the vehicle initially. Because we're doing vehicle programming, module programming, always using the battery support unit. So we've got the uh, battery support unit over there connected to the wall um, to give a constant power supply. This is the equipment we're going to be using today to program the module and correct the mileage. So this is the mileage correction tool that we'll be using, which is uh, DP, uh, uh, DC4, dash coder 4, which you can find on our web shop, the obdshop.co.uk. Uh, we've got dealer prog 2 here, we're going to use that to um, program the module to the actual vehicle first. I'm going to see if we can code it to the vehicle and correct the mileage with this. If not, we've got the mileage correction tool here. This will work OBD on this vehicle and correct the mileage. So we've got dealer prog 2 plugged into the OBD port, so that's ready to start a uh, remote session now. I'm going to switch the ignition on, ready for programming. So on the software itself, it's auto detected the VIN number. I'm going to press next. Uh, populated its own information. It just wants to know what ECU, uh, which engine it is, which is the 3.2. So I'm going to press next. I'm going to go uh, assistance and common faults, and then remote, remote diagnostic support. 
press next. So we confirm all this information is correct on the ticket overview, uh, scroll down to the bottom, agree with the terms and conditions and then press create ticket. So that's creating a ticket now. It's just as simple as typing in here uh, what you want. So what I'll do, I'll pause the video, type in what I need uh, and the technician will get on with that. So we started the session just now. Um, they've instantly replied, good afternoon. And then I've just typed in here, uh, replacement cluster fitted to the car. It starts and runs, but no mileage is shown. So we would need the unit code into the car. So I've just sent that message just now. Um, just waiting for them to come back to me with a reply. Uh, once they've connected, they'll get that coded in for me. There's nothing I would physically need to do. Just let them do it in uh, with the main dealer tool. Uh, in obviously working in our garage, but we're working through the tool and working with main dealer equipment. So uh, they've just received that message just now. It's got a double tick. So um, once they start typing back, this will appear. And it said, what mileage do you want? So we, the previous mileage was 88862 uh, miles. So um, that was the previous mileage, the typing back already. And basically you just did go through with the, um, go through answering the questions until they've got everything they need, then they can program the unit to the vehicle. So is it new or used? Um, so we're gonna check that VIN against the actual VIN. So they've pulled the VIN 134. So they pulled the VIN number ending in 134, but you can see here is the vehicle uh, VIN number. So that's the correct VIN number. So I've just replied, is it new or used? This is what they've asked me, is that the correct VIN? I put used unit, yes car VIN ends in uh, 134. So what we'll do, uh, I'll just pause the um, video there, just uh, while we wait for them to reply um, and continue on once it's finished. But at the moment it's looking like they'll be able to code the unit to the vehicle and correct the mileage uh, to the uh, so it matches the chassis. So the old unit will have its own mileage off the vehicle it came off um, and the new, uh, the new unit, um, the, the old unit that we've supplied and fitted to the vehicle will have its own mileage but we need to correct that mileage so it matches the chassis of the vehicle so uh, the mileage of the actual vehicle is matching to what it should match to the old clocks so I'll pause the video there for a moment so halfway, uh, more than halfway through now mileage is uh, now showing but it's, it's 65797 so they're connected at the moment um, just correcting the mileage so uh, this is the replacement dash fitted uh, the original is over there. Um, the unit is coded in now uh, because we've got the correct mileage. Well, we've got the uh, mileage showing. Uh, the problem is now that the mileage is incorrect. So they're just going to um, reprogram the mileage so it's correct. And then we're all done. So it's looking like we don't need the uh, DC4, the dash coder 4. Uh, it's looking like we can just do this all, um, all with the one tool. So just to bring you up to date with a log, um, started the session 13 minutes ago now. Um, so it's been 13 minutes and it's pretty much finished now. What mileage do you want? That's the correct mileage for the chassis. So it's all tied into its MOT and everything else and all legit. Um, is it used or new? Is that the correct VIN? It's a used unit and that's the correct VIN. I put battery support unit is on and ignition is on. So we've got the battery support unit connected. Um, and the ignition was on at the time. That was 10 minutes ago. Uh, it said, is the dash fitted? Um, so it said yes. And then it just went through all this. Um, I said mileage, uh, the mileage is now, it's showing now, just incorrect mileage. It says I'll do the mileage now, two minutes ago. Uh, ignition is on, it's still on, uh, it's showing 65,797 miles and that was two minutes ago, we're just waiting for that mileage to get corrected now.
So mileage has been reset back to zero. So on these you have to go back to zero before uh, programming new mileage. So that's the job all done. Um, just going to show you the actual mileage uh, on the vehicle. So you can see here 888861. Uh, eight, eight, so it's one mile off, it's going down by one mile from ferry. Um, but it's always going to round off roughly because they're going from kilometres to miles. Ignition off, we've not got the engine management light showing or anything like that, so that's all good. Um, and then I'll just show you starting. Clutch down and start. So it starts and runs, no lights on the dash, mileage is fully correct. And just lastly, I'll just show you the log of the ticket. So seven minutes ago now, um, it says I'll do the mileage now, I'll put ignition is on. It, uh, once you coded the uh, dash in, it showed 65,000 miles, uh, so that must have been the mileage of a dash, but we need 88, so the mileage wasn't too low in this situation, so we've had to put the mileage up, uh, not down, it's from 65,000 to 88,000, so it's had to go up by 23,000 miles roughly. Um, they reset the mileage down to zero, which we're showing you in the last bit. Um, it's done now. It says start it and check all warning lamps are off, please. Uh, it says 88,861 showing on dash. Is that okay? They asked. I says, yeah, that's all good. Thank you. Have a great day. What's the cost of this session? Uh, so you pay per session on this. So that cost us £57.50 plus that. So that's what it's cost us to program the dash in and correct the mileage. And then I'll put, thank you, have a good evening. So the whole session, that was two minutes ago, so we'll take two minutes off the start time. So it took two minutes off that, so the whole session from start to finish was 19 minutes. So it'll take two minutes off that. So uh, really good result. We've got the job done for the customer. Uh, saved them a lot of money. So we managed to get a price from Ford, main dealer, uh, which I'll bring up, bring up in the next slide. So last part, just to finish the video off, because we only do this to make money and for the fun of it. It's, good, it's a good fun business working with cars, but the long and hot, long shot of it comes down to obviously is making money. Uh, we're going to buy this equipment to, to do that. So um, we, I've done, made a little uh, document here, main dealer, MD, versus automotive programming centre. That could be you, in this case it says. Um, so I rang main dealer, Perry's at Chesterfield. You can quote this yourself if you want to, uh, for a 2012 Ford Ranger. Um, 3.2 engine. So they want for a new dash including VAT £609.07. It's a three day wait for to get that new dash and then for them to fit it and program it so the mileage is correct which they couldn't they could guarantee that they could program it to the vehicle but they couldn't guarantee whether the mileage would be correct or whether I'd have to pay some other company like myself to correct the mileage. Um, so but let's say they're going to fit it, program it, and correct the mileage. They want 320 for the fitting and programming. The wait to have it fitted and programmed to Ford Ranger is 28 days. So at the moment, it Ford, it Perry's, it Chesterfield in the UK, in England, Derbyshire. 28 day wait to get that fitted and programmed. Um, total cost to the customer, 929.47, and a 28 day wait. Profit for the Ford main dealer, I'll say thousand or hundred. Um, the option with the customers come to us, so we've saved them a lot of money. So their second uh, second hand dashboard from the main uh, from eBay was seventy five pound, including VAT. It was a three day wait for it to arrive. It's been fitted and programmed for two seven five. That's what I've charged on this job. Uh, the wait for to get it fitted is a day because I've got um, usually working a day or two in advance. Uh, the total cost to the customer was 350 That's for my charge and the cost for this unit here from eBay. So there, the customer's paid a total of 350 rather than um, 930 So save the customer roughly 600 700 quid, um, and it's four days to get it done. The profit to my business is 200 because uh, the uh, dealer prog 2 has charged me £75 to program it roughly. 
just under that. But that's left me with a £200 profit for my work. And it's took me 30 minutes to do, to fit it and program it, um, a 30 minute job. So £200 profit for 30 minutes is working out at £400 an hour, which is great. It pays for the tool in no time. If you want to know more about the tools that we're using, the training courses that we do, check out our website, the obdcompany.co.uk for the training and for tools, the obdshop.co.uk for the equipment. Thank you.